What is going on, guys? How are you doing today? Um, I just got some news on my phone that uh, Brian Flores was just hired by the my uh, Miami Minnesota Vikings to be the defensive coordinator, and this concerns me because Mike Kafka is the only one of the three guys left now to the Bengals defensive coordinator Lou Anamaro. If I'm saying his name wrong, I'm sorry. And Mike Kafka, which they were the three people left, it was Flores, Kafka, and Anamaro. Now it's Kafka and Anamaro, which Let's hope it's the Bengals at the corner, but I'm kind of lean because everybody, a lot of teams go offensive-minded um, head coaches nowadays. But let me let's just let this also be a warning. I don't think Flores was just like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna. I don't see myself being a coach for this team. No, he wants to be head coach. Okay, he literally sued us because he wasn't happy the way it turned out with him for whatever reason. Uh, the whole thing he did, but not really that important. But that's a concern because now it's on the two people, Kafka and Anamaro, and it also leaves question marks if that happened, if maybe Shea Turney, our quarterback coach, if he would get uh, the office coordinator job or would it be out of house? You know, somebody out, you know, like how we – when we brought Kafka in the first place, when we go for like another route, like someone that we're not very friends with. But I think they would stay inside the organization. That's probably the smartest move. You don't want to lose a guy like Kafka – you know, a lot of people knocked on him at the beginning of the year, but he almost he really was a really good offensive play call this year for his first year of play first first year of calling plays. He did a pretty good job, I would think. If you know, we had the fifteenth offense and scoring, I think it was from going with the thirty second to fifteenth is pretty ridiculous. And we also didn't have as good as an offense as what of like, like other teams, like you know, ahead of us or behind us even. But we figured out ways to use the players' strengths and like I was like, how what's the word? We, you know, we just had them overperform. Like, they were just, we just uh, had them playing to their strengths and not using, like, we, they're what's best fit for the players. And with Kafka, he brought his, some scheming from Kansas City. But the thing that concerns me, what if Kafka gets hired? Because it seems like a very po- highly likely possibility that could happen because two people, once again, but what if he tries to do what Dable did, where he took player, uh, not players, coaches from our staff, right? So maybe he goes to Kansas City and he goes to their staff and takes their maybe their their coaching staff because he's more familiar with that than what Brian Dable has here. I mean, I wouldn't say that because he he did coach here for a year, but I would think he would go there. But who knows? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, I do have a, the tweet. Uh, I could show you real quick. And right here. Uh, yeah, he's hired Vikings, which was a pretty big help. No, oh, it's a new tweet. Pretty big. Pretty. This video is funny. Pretty big help for the Vikings. They like, they need some help on defense, especially playing off. So they got exposed. No adjustments they made at all. Uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment. Um. Like, subscribe, uh, share it. Uh, See you guys on the next video.